It's the only face mask endorsed by both Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande. With shelter in place extended through the summer season, the beaches of San Francisco are looking pretty empty out there as we head on the 4th of July weekend. Soccer bopper, soccer bopper. Yo, lame brain, this is why we keep getting coronavirus. <laughs> and cover your mouth, too. You're watching Cable Access 97 San Francisco. Huh. What's this? Excellent, excellent, okay, okay, all right. <laughs> Welcome to Quarantine World. I'm your excellent host, Walt, and with me as always is my most excellent co-host, Gus. Party on, Walt. Party on, Gus. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is check you for a fever like usual, Gus. Are you ready? Oh, no, man, no way. That thermometer last time was way too cold. Can I at least go sit on a bag of frozen peas to get acclimated? <laughs> no, no, don't worry, man. It's not that kind of thermometer. We got a new one. That old thermometer was totally heinous. You're telling me, man. Well, here, you just point this at your forehead, and it'll tell us if you're running a little hot. Oh, okay, then. Speaking of running hot, I saw your mom when I was making my way down here. Gus, that's totally inappropriate, man. Inappropriate. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. I meant the living room was on fire, and she's running around trying to extinguish the flames. Oh, okay. Well, did she get the fire put out? I think she's got it contained to the fireplace now. I'm supposed to go up after the show with her and roast some marshmallows over the smoldering remains of your sofa. Excellent. <laughs> Who doesn't enjoy the added flavoring of vaporized upholstery? You know, I love it. Like that time in third grade on Halloween, when my vampire cape caught on fire and it melted all the candy in my plastic pumpkin pail. It gave everything that barbecue plastic essence that I just love to this day. Wow. That's messed up, Gus. <laughs> okay, well, back to the thermometer. Let me check you real quick, and if you don't have a fever, you can take your mask off. Oh, all right. And I promise, I'm not an asymptom, man. Does that mean I'm in the clear? Yeah, you're good. But first, extreme close-up! Remember we had to stop that bit because of social distancing? Oh, right, right. Yeah, cancel the extreme close-up, man. I forgot. Ugh, that was a close one, man. We need to keep our distance from our viewers, after all. Excellent save, Gus. Excellent save. Okay, we can go ahead and take the mask off then. Woo! Okay, mask coming off. How you doing? Ooh, whoa, whoa. You got a little bit of halitosis there, man. Oh, have a mint. Have a mint, please. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've been wearing that mask for about two weeks straight, man. It's nice to get some fresh air. <laughs> hey, Walt, how come when we do the show, only I have to wear a mask, man? Because I know I'm not sick, Gus, and this is my parents' basement, so we just need to make sure that anybody coming over takes extra precautions. What, like the disinfectant spray that your dad hosed me down with before he let me through the door? Exactly. And the way it makes you always take your shoes off and put them in a plastic bag before you come into the house. <laughs> yeah, that one always kind of confuses me. Why did your dad let me keep my socks on, though? Well, we don't want you to catch a cold from having those socks on, man. That'd be counterproductive, don't you think? Yeah, I guess so. I've had these socks since junior high school, man. They're pretty special to me. Gus, junior high school was like 26 years ago, man. Put that away. Ugh, and put a mitt in there, too. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, now it's time for Quarantine World Top 5! Quarantine World, Quarantine World, at that incident. Okay, okay, excellent, all right. So, in case you're just tuning in, Quarantine World Top Fives is our weekly segment where we go over various top five lists to help us cope with staying inside all summer due to the shelter-in-place ordinance. Oh, yes. I know, right? But we all have to do our part to fight the spread of COVID-19, right? Yeah, it's for the best. Totally. So last time we did top five worst parody songs based on the coronavirus, and the number one song was Saving All My TP For You. <laughs> eh, that song is way too soon, man. Shut sure. And it totally sucked, too. Who'd have thought that a song about twisted pair link routers would have taken the internet by storm? 
I don't think that's the same kind of TP that everyone was expecting from that title. Upgrade the Wi-Fi, man. <laughs> All right, all right. So this week we got an all new top five list for you. And the topic, the top five best face masks that might be coming out this fall. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Now that's contemporary, man. So contempo, so contempo indeed. And you just know that with the growing ubiquity of protective face masks, that there's bound to be waves of face mask fashion trends coming out as a result, right? Totally. You just know you'll be waiting in line to go to the grocery store and someone will come up to you and be a little like, who are you wearing? Mask. Like Kobe Klein. Hey, maybe they'll have one that keeps my breath fresh while it protects me from coronavirus. That's a pretty tall order, Gus. But we'll keep our fingers crossed. Until then, hang on to those mints. I better have another one. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is going to read off my list of top five best face masks, and we're going to put them up on the screen for you, okay? Bodacious. Bodacious? Uh, flirtatious? <laughs> Efficacious. Come on, try harder, man. Um, um, honorific abilitude and Whoa, I think we have ourselves a new champion. All right, excellent, excellent. Okay, so beginning with the fifth best face mask design that may be coming out by the holidays this year. Design your face masks, mark our words. The Jason Voorhees! <laughs> I sure hope that one doesn't become popular, man. I had nightmares about those movies all the time. When you were a kid? No! Last week! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's safe to say it's time to see some newer horror movies, Gus. No way, man. I can't take anymore. Last time I saw the Jason movies was 23 years ago, and I've been having nightmares ever since. Whoa, that's creepy, Gus. Okay, well, just calm down, calm down. All right, I want you just to take a deep breath and imagine yourself with Taylor Swift, all right? Really? Taylor Swift? Okay. Thank you, man. And then Jason pops out of the woods and starts chasing you! Ah! 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 Jason! Ah! 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 Oh. All right, all right, all right. Calm down, Gus. Just calm down, man. It was just a joke, okay? Take a Xanax. Take, take a Xanax. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Just take it easy. Remember, Taylor Swift. Okay? Okay? And she's singing you a lullaby. Okay. She's telling you that you need to calm down. Calm down? All right. I like this song. All right, excellent, excellent, okay. All right, so back to our list here. Moving right down to number four of our best face masks possibly coming out by the fall. I hope there aren't any more scary ones, man. I don't think this one's all that scary, Gus. Number four is the Scorpion from Mortal Kombat! Get over here! Well, now that one would be kind of cool. <laughs> totally. I used to play that game all the time. I got really good at all the fatality moves. I never could get the hang of that game. I spent all my lunch money on the arcade game for a whole week one time. I lost like 65 pounds. My mom was so mad at me. Bogus! Yeah. And then she took me to the nearest burger place and watched me 260 quarter pounders to make sure I gained all the weight back. <laughs> well, at least you got to keep the toy that came with each burger, right? You better believe it. I was able to sell them all at school, and I got more change to play Mortal Kombat again. Well, there's a happy ending for you. Totally. I still couldn't beat anybody in the game, but I really liked the mask that the ninja guys wore, especially Scorpion. Excellent. So if the Scorpion face mask becomes a hot new fashion trend this fall, you'll be in line to get one? Six feet apart from all the other people in line. <laughs> Woo! Great way to work in a PSA, Gus. <laughs> Stay six feet apart. Practice social distancing. <laughs> All right, well, that got a little weird, didn't it? Okay, so back to our list of top five face mask designs that might be coming out this fall. And number three is Bane! Let the games begin! All right, the Bane! Woo, Bane, yeah! As you already know, Gus, and as I try to make our viewers fully aware, I'm a huge fan of Batman. So the Bane would be like a most excellent option in face mask fashion to come out this fall. Face mask fashion. What have we become? I know, right? But hey, look at the bright side. You know, like in all those 70s sci-fi films that predicted that humans would be turned into Soylent Green or getting chased around by anyone that isn't Charlton Heston? Oh, yeah. I love that movie. The newer one with Bill Smith was awesome, too. Totally awesome. Both Omega Man and Iron Legend. 
But I just can't help but wonder if the monsters were just misunderstood the entire time. You mean like Shrek? Exactly, just like Shrek. If Shrek was a zombie living in the dark and resorted to cannibalism. <laughs> Ew. So at least we don't have it that bad, right? All right, so where was I? Uh, oh yeah, so if the Bane face mask comes out, that would be awesome. I'd love to see it on the shelves by the holidays. I know what I'm getting you this year. No, no, surprise me, man, surprise me. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So moving right along, the second best face mask on our list here. You ready for this one, Gus? Let's hear it. Coming in at number two is Michael Myers. You mean from movies like Austin Powers and Shrek and Wayne's World? No, no, we're ripping them off enough of the sketches it is. <laughs> no, I mean the, the Michael Myers from the Halloween movies! <laughs> you okay with that one, Gus? Who's Michael Myers? <laughs> Shut up, right? You don't recognize his character? He's like a horror movie classic. From the Halloween movies? The first one was most legendary. Yeah, like I told you, I haven't watched any horror movies since the Jason movies, man. I can't take the fear. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, if you haven't seen the Halloween movies, then you'd probably be surprised to find out that Michael Myers talks like this the whole time. Whoa, really? Oh my god, he talks like this in one of the movies. You know, to confuse his victims. Wow, that's pretty scary, well, I think I could hear him. Oh, it's all right, man, calm down. You want another Xanax? No, I, th I think I'm all right. Just you and Taylor Swift. And she's singing you a song. Taylor Swift? Okay. <laughs> she's singing you a song like... Oh, no! 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 Calm down, man. Calm down. It was just a joke, Gus. I don't okay. know, man. Jim's still pretty scared. I mean, what a twisted concept. A serial killer with a funny voice would be super creepy. <laughs> Relax, I know, but hey, this will make you feel better. It was just a joke. The real bad guy in those movies can't even talk. Really? Well, you should hang on to that idea, Walt. That's like a most excellent premise for a horror movie. I mean, I wouldn't want to go see it, but you know what I mean. We'll keep that idea in the vault for now, Gus. Okay, you feeling better now? Yeah, I think so. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. A and she's not singing in the monster voice anymore. Okay, that's much better, man. Thank All right. Besides, the Michael Myers mask offers very little by way of protection for the nose and the mouth. So despite being the most excellent horror movie reference, I'm afraid that design just won't meet mainstream acceptance. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> so anyway, we're down to our number one best face mask option on our list here. This is the big one, Gus. Can I get a drum roll? The number one best face mask design is... The Mandalorian! You are a bounty hunter. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. The Mandalorian is for the win. Honorific ability in the Tatamus. <laughs> okay, then. But yeah, the Mandalorian mask is already popular, it covers the whole face, and it's designed to be worn all the time. So you just know the Mandalorian guy will never get coronavirus in that thing. <laughs> sure! You can bet the Mando guy won't even get the common cold wear in that thing. It must be terribly sterile in there. And it looks most excellent, too. And you just know that eventually, there will be his and hers models available, right? <laughs> just picture yourself, Gus, walking down the street, sporting your brand new Mando mask, okay? Then along comes Taylor Swift. Wearing her matching Mando mask. Sweet! No doubt. And what do you know? It's the perfect icebreaker for you. All right. I can see that happening anytime soon. Excellent. Okay, okay. Well, since we're social distancing, we won't have a guest on tonight. But join us next week when our guest will be Dr. Anthony Fauci joining us live via Zoom. No! <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, so thanks for joining us tonight and continuing to shelter in place. Stay healthy, and we'll see you at the same excellent time and the same excellent place next week. Party on, well, party on, Gus. Party on, party on, party time, excellent. Honorific Abilitude and Atatibus.